or it is also saying today would like to share the end root of z to the power 5 equal to 1. We have to always bear in mind that we shouldn't just take z power 5 equal to 1 and we take the root of z which is z equal to 1 to the power 1 over 5 and we settle the question and we will be wrong. We have to always bear in mind that z is a complex number which means that high possibility that the root will be in a complex form not only in real form so what we have to do here we can first let w equal to 1 what's the meaning of w equal to 1 as we can see we have a real part only since w is also complex number which means that we can have imaginary part but we don't have imaginary part here so what to do we just add 0i x is the component of real number so we have x is equal to 1 the real part and y is the component of imaginary part so we obtain y is equal to 0 and we know that r is equal to square root of x square plus y square which is square root of 1 square plus 0 square and we obtain equal to 1 and for the anger theta is equal to r tangent y over x if we substitute we will obtain 0 over 1 which is 0 and we press calculator we will obtain 0 degree or we can think logically we draw the Cartesian plane with x y axis on the right hand side of x axis is always 0 degree and we rotate anti-clockwise to reach 90 degree and move another 90 degree we will have 180 degree and we rotate again another 90 degree and we will obtain 370 degree and rotate 90 degree and we will back to 0 degree or we complete one cycle which is 360 degree as we can see y is 0 y is 0 which means that it's the x axis on the x axis regardless where we are y is always equal to 0 and we check that x is positive positive 1 so which means that we should have the degree on the right hand side of x which is 0 degree or 360 degree so we can take the 0 degree and we done so which means that w is equal to we can write in the short form or we write in the complete form r which is equal to 1 times cos angle 0 degree or 0 radian plus i sine 0 degree we can write in short form r cis theta r is 1 so we can ignore what we have to do here is we just think logically the starting angle is 0 degree now we should have 5 roots which means that to be fair 0 should be divided by 5 so anything divided 0 divided by anything we will still obtain 0 so nothing changed here which means that the starting angle will still be 0 degree however we know that every time when we rotate 360 degree we will obtain exactly the same position but for here we should have how many root 5 so which means that we should have 360 divided by 5 for each rotation which means that 72 degree for each rotation so the first set is equal to r is equal to 1 so we have r to about 1 over 5 as we can see here will still be equal to 1 since 1 power to the any number we will still obtain 1 so we have 6 0 degree the first angle then each time we increase increase by 72 degree and we obtain 72 and the third root we increase another 72 degree so we have 144 degree 
and we increase another 72 degree to reach the fourth root we have 216 degree and we increase another 72 degree and reach the fifth root which is the last root that we have for this case is 288 degree if let's say we want to express in rectangular form so what we have to do we just press using calculator so we have cos 0 degree which is equal to 1 and sine 0 degree which is equal to 0 so 1 plus 0 i we get back 1 so this is the real root as we can see then the number 2 so we have cos 72 degree which is 0 0.309 then sine 72 degree which is plus 0 0.951 we round to the nearest three decimal places and we have cos 144 so negative 0 0.809 and sine 144 so we obtain positive 0 0.588 we round to the nearest three decimal places cos 216 degree so we have negative 0 0.809 and we have sine 216 degree and we obtain negative 0.588i so this is complex conjugate the change in between the two terms then the last one cos 288 0.309 so this will be another complex conjugate we can check with sine 288 and we obtain negative 0.951i and we done so we have five roots here so let's say you want to check whether the answer is correct or not for one we we don't have to check because here we can obtain directly then for this one we make use of the complex function in the calculator so menu the second function so we have 0 0.309 plus 0 0.5 951i so i eng then bracket to the power of 5 so we have a number that is very close to as we can see this minus to the power of negative 6 which means that this is very very small we can ignore and this if let's say we round we will obtain equal to 1 since we did not take the complete decimal places which means that we will get a rough figure only then we check for the other one so we have negative 0 0.809 plus 0 0.588i to the power of and we obtain again we will get approximately equal to the value that we want so of course we can check for the rest okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you